I'm going to read from a book called The Mystical City of God. It's by the Venerable Mary of Agreda. She was a mystic nun. She lived a long time ago, in the 1700s, I believe. And the Virgin Mary appeared to her many times and told her about her life and had her write it down. Special notice to the reader. Revelations. Nothing that essentially differs from the teachings of the Catholic Church can rightfully be taught or believed by any man or under any pretext. Moreover, even the essential doctrines can be taught and expounded only in the sense and spirit approved, or at least not disproved, by the Church. This at once will establish the position which private revelations, whether coming from heaven or originating from hallucination, merely human or devilish, hold in the Church of God. There can be no doubt that God can and does manifest to chosen souls hidden things in addition to what he teaches through the public ministry of his Church. It is also an accepted truth that he sometimes reveals them to his friends for the express purpose of communicating this extra knowledge to other well-disposed persons through the natural and human means at the disposal of those receiving his revelations. These manifestations he invariably surrounds with enough evidence to satisfy all requirements of a cautious and well-founded human belief. It follows naturally that whenever he thus surrounds private revelations with evidences of their heavenly origin, he will be pleased with a rational and loving belief and dissatisfied with a captious and obstinate unbelief of the facts or truth thus privately revealed. Where, however, these external evidences are wanting, or wherever Holy Church intimates the least direct or indirect disapproval, there any faith in private revelation would not be only foolish but positively wrong. Full approval. The Church has to yet give has as yet given no public and full approval to private revelations of any kind, nor will she ever do so, since that would be really an addition to the deposit of faith left by Christ. But tacitly and indirectly, she has approved many private revelations, and among them the writings of Mary of Agreda. She could well do so, since there are no writings of that kind which exhibit more reliable human proofs of divine origin than the Ciudad de Dios of the venerable servant of God, Mary of Jesus of Agreda. The existence of the Bible justifies the query whether there are not other books that have been written under supernatural guidance, though we know, of course, that none of them can ever be the same importance and authenticity as the Bible, for the Bible was provided as the record of the general revelations of God to mankind at all its stages to the end of time.